Welcome everyone to Kane's Wrath Online, official launch of the 2015 Kane's Wrath Online Command League. That's right, my name is Green Zero, and we're going to be going through the Command League because this is the big penultimate event of Command and Conquer 3, Kane's Wrath. We had the World Championship last year, we've had the Open Challenges, and we're back again. And this time we're bigger and better than ever. We have a fully fledged league ready to announce. We're going to go through it. Stay tuned in the video. We're going to go through everything you need to know about the 2015 Kane's Wrath Online Command League. All right, so first things first, with the command link, basically you'll be hosted by Kane's Wrath Online. You're gonna wanna go to Kane's Wrath Online, www.kaneswrathonline.com, and links in the description, of course, to read the full specifications of the command link. It'll take you all of two minutes. It is very simple, very straightforward, and it's very well thought out. Uh, basically, the command link will be fought out over a period of months, and at the end of this, we will be featuring the Command Cup. That's right, we have the Command Cup. More on that later in the video first, but we're gonna go through the league format because that is the first First part of the Command League, you're going to have to get through the league first, and it's going to be very exciting, very intense, and we've got some very unique systems up for you. So here comes the Command League format. So essentially the way the league here is going to work is that players must compete for command points, okay? In order to qualify for the Command Cup at the end of the league, you must have enough command points to be ranked within the top uh, series of players. So we're going to go through the stage events because this is how you earn points. The stage events are very straightforward. Uh, each stage is a separate tournament. They will be announced one after the other, okay? So one at a time, one after the other. There's six stages. Each stage has a different spin on it. Uh, we have the details here at the moment. Stage one is a classic tournament, so any faction, normal rules apply. Uh, stage two is primary faction, so you can only play as GDI, Scrin, or Nod. None of the sun, uh, sub factions. Uh, stage three, once again, is a classic event, so again, normal rules. Uh, stage four will be random only, so it's a random only event. Stage five, once again, will be returning to a classic event, and stage six will be a no epic units event, so that will round out the command league there. Again, each stage will be announced one after the other they'll be separated by around two to three weeks each all right so stage one just note has not been announced as of this video you're going to have to stay tuned to Kane's Wrath Online and we will announce stage one very very shortly so basically wherever you uh, finish in these uh, in these events determines how many points you have so uh, you can check out how the points work on Kane's Wrath Online uh, you can score between one to ten points per stage and over the course of six stages you will be ranked on a ladder we have a full fledged ladder system it includes a range of statistics including games won games lost uh, uh, opponents defeated events played in percentages and points there's a full ladder on Kane's Wrath online if you want to check it out it will be updated after every event and you guys can keep track of the hostilities from there but anyway for players that qualify within the top 16 they will enter the command cup the command pro cup that is the top 16 players will be going into that tournament and they will be competing for $500 worth of cash prizes. And we're keeping the Command Cup a little bit secret right now. We're not uh, revealing the format or how the prizes will be split. But the current prize pool is $500. And it is expected to rise over the duration of the event. So don't expect us to launch with $500 for the Pro Cup. Uh, but of course, a never before seen uh, format here as well. There is an intermediate cup for players who finish outside of the top 16. So... If you're a mid player or a, or a relatively good player and you're thinking there's going to be a pretty big effort to get top 16, even if you don't make it, you can still qualify for the Intermediate Cup. We will accept a minimum of eight players for that outside the top 16. And again, that can be expanded. We have several tournament formats ready to go. So if you don't think you can make top 16, but you still want to play in this event here, uh, again, you can still get into the Intermediate Cup. There are currently no cash prizes for the Intermediate Cup. However, the Intermediate Cup will have tangible prizes such as merchandise and free Steam games of your choice. So you can still win stuff within the Intermediate Cup and we'll go through the final rules later on. But that's the Command League format. Six stages. You can register for each stage as it's announced. Uh, stay tuned to Kane's Wrath Online because all the details are going to be over there. So some finer points of this tournament series now are regarding the uh, end of league cups. So basically for the Command Cup, in order to qualify for that one there, uh, you must play in at least four stage events. That's right, you have to feature in four stage events. So even if you get enough points to make top 16, if you don't have four stage appearances or a minimum of four stage appearances, then you won't be able to qualify. Uh, additionally, players cannot play in both the Intermediate and the Pro Cup. Okay, you can only play in one or the other. If you qualify top 16, you can only play in the Command Cup Pro. You can't go to the Intermediate. 
If you qualify for the intermediate and there's a withdrawal and you get invited to the Command Cup Pro, you can make a decision whether or not you want to go there. Uh, however, just remember that all of the cash prizes currently are inside the Pro Cup and they will be split very heavily. So uh, the chances of you winning a prize in the Command Cup is basically 50-50 uh, at the moment, uh, depending on how we go for that split. Uh, of course, still prizes for the Command Cup Intermediate, but again, there'll be a, a lot of different players in there. So that's the rules in order to qualify for the Command Cup Intermediate. You must uh, play in at least three stage events. So. Uh, this is really good because we believe it will encourage a lot of uh, a lot of players who perhaps think they can't make top 16 to still play really hard within these events and uh, knowing that they can still get into a tournament. It will see, feature the same amount of coverage and reviews, write-ups and everything like that as the Command Cup Pro and it's really exciting. I can't actually wait to see how uh, an event like that would be to turn out uh, because it's never been before attempted. A league this dynamic and uh, excessive has never been attempted as well and I think it'll be really good. Uh, but anyway, stay tuned to Kane's Wrath Online because we'll have more information regarding the Command Cup uh, coming up for you very, very shortly. Also, guys, we'd like to do a quick fundraiser here as well. And I know I said I wouldn't ask for donations again after the World Championship, uh, but I didn't think we'd ever have a tournament this big happening again. But uh, here we are having another grand event. And of course, it costs a lot of time, money, resources, and effort uh, to get these going. So everyone who's been watching my videos over the past, if everyone quickly just threw us you know, an extra five bucks or something here and there, that would go a long way because I know my videos, uh, they get thousands, a few thousand hits in the first couple of days. So if you're sitting there and you want to donate to us, head on over to Kane's Wrath Online. There is a link on the top left-hand side for PayPal. Of course, you can donate to Bike Crush's stream as well because he's donating all of his uh, donations to us as well. But anyway, again, it's totally optional. Free to play, free to join. If you don't want to donate, you don't have to. But really, guys, come on, dig deep, throw us a few bucks here and there and make this tournament even better than it already is. Uh, but anyway, I'm Green Zero. Any questions, head on over to Kane's Wrath Online. And of course, we'll round out this video now for you shortly. So that is a very brief rundown of the Command League 2015 as well as the Command Cup. And again, we're keeping the Command Cup very secretive at the moment. We're not launching anything in regards to that just yet. We're just letting you know about it at the end of the league format. So stay tuned to Kane's Wrath Online. What you need to do from here is, of course, you need to download the software to access the Kane's Wrath Online tournament server because that's where the Command Cups are going to be played as well as the Command League. So make sure you have that, kaneswrathonline.com. Of course, we've got links on the menu bar now. But anyway, stay tuned to Kane's Wrath Online. Uh, in order to play an event, you'll need, a you'll need to register for Stage 1, which has not been announced as of this video, but should be announced shortly. Videos on my channel, of course, Kane's Wrath Online. So read up on it, get training, and get back here once Stage 1 is announced to start this uh, grand tournament. Anyway, I'm Green Zero. Stay tuned to Kane's Wrath Online. Stay tuned to my channel, and I'll see you all in the command lane.